All right, this one is called Entire Manga Community United Against a Common Enemy and Bullied Them. I saw this tweet too, actually. The... I, I, is this Kaburachi? Kaguraachi, right? It was like a super meme dom anime. I uh, sorry, manga where the main character is supposed to be like a super hater or something, right? But manga leaks drama. What's going on? My years of just discussing manga have yeah. seen the manga community collectively, the entire manga community. I'm not just talking about Twitter. I'm just talking about Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, Discord, probably Instagram, maybe even TikTok. I don't consider any of those platforms to be actually representative of what is core at the manga community. If I'm not reading a manga on a foreign fucking pirated like, uh, manga website where all the comment section is just a bunch of memes, like that's not true manga. Talk, but I saw so many discussions around this leaker yesterday and okay. even into this morning that forced this leaker to basically bend the knee and say, I will not be leaking Kagura Bachi. Okay. It is legitimately insane. I, I just... It says, after careful consideration, I've decided to withdraw from leaking it. Why? I'll always do what the community thinks is right because I'm really a part of you guys. I won't force anything on you guys. Hmm. So, like, they unite against the common enemy in William. So, this guy is bad? Manga leaks? How are people with manga leaks? Most people are happy about manga leaks, right? Because they want to get the early access what's gonna happen and feel special and end up spoiling a bunch of actual manga readers waiting for the official release but this is bad i never thought i would ever see the manga community all fandoms basically unite under one banner to rid themselves of potential evil in the future it is it brings a tear to my eye it, it really does who would okay. have thought that it would take the actual jjk series coming to an end and people seeing just what leak culture does in general to manga I am very unaware of what leak culture does to manga because I've stopped reading manga a long time due to the nature of anime reactions where I can't know what's going to happen for the blind reactions. But back in the day when I used to keep up with One, Point, sorry, one Piece manga, um, there was a lot of early leaks. And, you know, some people were avid fans of the early leaks. Even on the subreddit, people would check it out and make sure it was like a whole cult where people were fine with leaks and it'd be tagged as like early law, like a raw leaks and people would talk about it. But is it just generally frowned upon now for people to make a stand and say we do not want this for other manga communities especially okay. kagura bachi incredible stuff man so let's um let's back up for a second and let's okay. explain this whole story so at this current time this leaker here myth his original post of announcing that he was going to leak content for kagura bachi has been since deleted so you no longer can find the original post but you can find evidence of just kind of what it used to say because everybody within the community, in the manga community basically, yeah. was just straight up memeing the original post and saying their own words to it to just make it absolutely hilarious. Sleep tight, sweet dreams, night night. Basically either, you know, you have Sukuna himself even saying they're going to possess someone's body. To Ryomen Sukuna 69. Even having something as unhinged as this. Literally, this stuff right here is absolutely... It's an honor to announce that I'll be running a human trafficking auction from now on. I love human trafficking and have been there when the first human got trafficked. Can't wait to proceed to make friends with you guys. What kind of level of ironic meme level are we on right now? Absolutely wild. But basically, you, you had the manga community yeah. shit posting and memeing I can see on that. what was said, so to speak, from the leaker myth. And, you know, it went all around, everywhere. And it got so bad that Mia, aka the actual main leaker of Jujutsu Kaisen, had to I still can't believe he calls it Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> it's always gonna be funny to me. I just think about like people like Gojo and like all the other characters actually like doing jujitsu, you know? The actual main leaker of Jujutsu Kaisen yeah. had to make a statement and say Nah, bro. I'm not gonna be leaking Kagurabachi. I don't want nothing to do with that. And th so why is it okay that this guy leaked Jujutsu Kaisen while it was airing, but now Kagurabachi is no-no territory? I genuinely am ignorant and very unaware of, like, the 
what the public kind of wants regarding leaks. It sounds like people are very against leaks. They do not want leaks. They do not want to be spoiled on the timeline. You're just scrolling and a random fucking manga panel leaks. And it's just like a new fucking form or a significant you know, character death. It probably sucks, right? Absolutely. But at the same time, it's just like this dude was leaking. But now he's saying Kagurabachi? No. I do hereby solemnly swear on the name of God and my loved ones that I won't be posting Kagurabachi leaks in any capacity or talk about yet to be officially released chap whatsoever. I bear true faith in promoting the manga and will only focus on spreading its gospel. Thank you. What changed between JJK and Kagurabachi? Was he also getting shit on during JJK? And now it's over. He has turned over a new leaf. That that really is wild because let's let's put this all in perspective. We're all on the same page here. Mia, regardless of how you feel about the man, you feel about leaks, JGK, whatever, I, I made a video about a week ago talking about just the overall activity of the main Twitter accounts on social media, and Mia was in the top five. Like, he surpassed literally Joe Biden. Like, that, that's, that's insane, okay? Power of the weebs, man. Like, straight up, like, having actually your account having more attention and focus because of leaks and it's over literally a president of a country that doesn't really surprise me even though it's potus because joe biden's fucking boring as fuck and he's just a corpse maybe if donald trump was saying some unhinged shit it would get more views but it does make sense that there's going to be more attention for fucking jujutsu kaisen one of the most popular shonen right battle shonen what's the audience kids how many fucking people are watching this shit like think about the demographics right who's the most chronically online teenagers kids it's the perfect audience it makes sense wild stuff really wild stuff but uh anyways what i'm trying to get at is is that mia obviously gets a lot of traffic a lot of attention i mean you look at all his posts they usually generate a lot i mean one post from him basically causes you know jjk to trend it, it does and it's like i'm not trying to this guy should get fucking paid by the creators of JJK for the fucking advertising and marketing. You know, be, you know, like, hype him up and glaze him. I'm just being honest. Like, when Mia releases something, usually JJK or whatever, trends. And the thing about that is, is that we have seen just how leak culture has been in the last few years. It's definitely reached a critical point or a nuclear level, so to speak, ever since, like, let's be honest, a little bit of spoilers here, but uh, the Gojo... <laughs> Gojo situation. Yeah, I know. I don't really know, but I kind of know. Stuff with Sukuna. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's yeah, 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 yeah. We, we've seen it. And obviously, it's gotten worse as time goes on. And, you know, at this point in time, the only way to really escape being spoiled from JJK is to just participate in the leaks. Leak culture has just been so... No, I, I literally ban keywords... I do not have anything anime or manga related on my social media feed, TikTok, whatnot. I see an anime reaction TikTok, I say, nice, and I immediately block and just like, it's not, not interest. Don't recommend me this shit. I literally do that, don't get leaks. If you don't do that shit, randomly you're scrolling, you'll see a random fucking manga panel showing up on new fucking form, you'll be like, god damn it. Saturated into JJK's fandom, it's like everybody collectively within the manga space accepted it. That, that's that's pretty much what it was you could not escape it so basically thanks to jjk coming to an end in a few weeks everybody knows it's wrapping up obviously these massive leakers that have made quite a name for themselves with manga they've leaked over the years definitely want to shift gears shift the series to be able to keep their audience keep traction and kagurobachi is the next one instead of jjk and so what better way to navigate themselves to basically a new series that is quickly gaining popularity Kagurabachi. Well, mm. obviously, Kagurabachi fans prove- Is Kagurabachi actually that next level of Battle Shonen? Because, like, a couple of years back, I think, I did see a manga panel of it to people memeing on it about how this guy apparently, like, wakes up and the uh, main motivating thing is, like, the hatred. He wants- he just, like, lives to fucking hate people. Like, it's- it's kind of, like, funny that he's just a fucking pure hater. It's solid? Really? Is it that good? Hmm. Excited for the anime to be adapted if it ever happens. Proved one major thing, especially when it came to the whole manga community as well. They know how to rally a fan base. Oh, yeah. Like, it has been a long time since I've seen a community collectively is like, nah, we don't want nothing to do with leak culture. We want nothing to do with spoilers. We want to keep this series as wholesome. And as Basically, JJK was like Chernobyl. And let me cook, right? You know Chernobyl, right? You've seen the, <laughs> the Netflix documentary. You know of it, right? It was too late. 
It, leaks are happening. Everything is radioactive. You can't put the fucking genie back in the lamp. It is what it is. Fuck it. But now, it's Kagurabachi time. And people are like, do not ruin this. Like JJK. Do not leak. Do not spoil. We will all unite together and make sure nothing happens. Now, even if monkeys on Twitter will unite to make this stance and bully people with these leaked sources, I still feel like due to the nature of the internet culture, there's going to be other bad faith actors that's going to, you know, still leak no matter what. People are desperate for internet points. You know, Twitter numbers go up, you get a bunch of likes, you know, a bunch of views, engagement. Makes you happy. People are addicted to that. And there's no doubt going to be people that's still going to, you know, leak this shit right now. I don't know exactly how leaks are made. Why does Miyamura have actual sources to the JJK chapters before it's even published because they have personal insider connection. It's not like you just join a specific discord. It's not like you just join like a fucking telegram chat. It's just like, oh, this is where the JJK leaks are. It's all with like personal insider connections in the industry. And if we approach it that way, then I wonder how these bad faith actors could get even a hand on the leaks. I don't know exactly like how that shit works as good as possible and honestly massive respect like even if i knew nothing from kagurabachi which i am actively reading kagurabachi fyi like if i knew nothing about it and this was the first thing i ever heard about kagurabachi 100 i would start the manga what right now just to see the community and just how united it is it's right you need a friend that works at the jp bookstore fuck it dude these dudes work at the jp bookstore <laughs> no no the loss would be crazy right you can't if you, have a, if you have a bookster in Japan, you're only, you have that business and shit gets leaked from there, like, no, that would be a loss. There's no way that shit would happen. Holy fuck. Rare. It's really rare to see a community like that. It has been honestly just a jaw-dropping last 24 hours for all this information to come out. But one thing in particular I do want to talk about is that a lot of leakers right now are running scared thanks to this. And I think that is pretty funny, all things considered. But I will say one thing in particular about all this. Leaks are not going to stop. And I think that is some Internet culture, right? You know, popular accounts like this will probably stop in their main, but... You cut the head of one Hydra, what happens? Ten more spawn. Something that we do need to address before I go any further. Obviously, even if Mia and Myth here and other leakers, major players within the leaking culture, doesn't participate, let's say, in the leaks of Kagurabachi or other series, there will be those that want to post yes. the leaks to Clout Farm. It's absolutely right. People are going to be desperate for internet attention. They will do it. But it's still better this way, right? If you're just completely fine with leaks happening and just, you know, don't even try to moderate it, right? Big channels like this, sorry, big um, accounts like this will simply spread the leaks. But if you're against it and you have some sort of public unification, of course the leaks are going to happen. But there's a, there's a spectrum of how much leaks there will be. So even if it's going to happen, it's still better that, you know, the community united and has created the sentiment of like, Kagurabachi, no leaks. Yes, there will be some leaks, but not to the extent of JJK. It's gonna happen. That's just... That's how it's always been for a very long time. Obviously, I think it's gotten a lot more attention and publicity in the last few years or half decade because of just, like, how popular anime and manga has become. But leaks have technically always been a thing for a very long time. Like, I remember seeing leaks back in, like, you know, 2013, 2014. One you know, Piece, seeing bro. leaks for Naruto chapters, Bleach chapters, yeah. Bleach chapters. So it's always been a thing, and it's not going to disappear. But I do think that overall, in terms of the culture around leaks of how massive it's been with JJK, I don't think it's going to follow into maybe other manga, at the very least, Kagurabachi. I don't- Not to the same degree, right? Remember, there's going to be a spectrum of how much leaks there will be. If the public sentiment is leaks are fine because it's too late, then yeah, there's going to be way more. But if people are ban you know, banding together and saying, no more leaks, then of course, there's going to be less, even though there will always be leaks. I think it's going to get that type of community because yeah. of just what I have seen in these last few hours to 24 hours. So yeah, like I said, it, it really is... It is honestly inspirational. It really makes me happy to just see a community unite against something and be like, we don't want nothing like this. Because there is a lot of toxicity around it because I made discussions talking about leaks and spoilers or, you know, JJK and talking about how you have people that will only read the leaks or brief little, like, 
I guess, rough translations of certain scenes from a panel, and they won't even read the chapter. They'll, they'll just get all their information from brief little spoilers and leaks, like a brief summary, and then they'll do that the same thing next week, instead of actually reading said chapter, or... Just remember, think how stupid the average person is, and realize that half are even dumber than that. Some people, straight up, just... Look at, they don't even read the dialogue. They just see random shit happening. See some key moments with actions and then they move on. <laughs> I had a friend, not to shit on him, but when Game of Thrones was really popular, right? People love Game of Thrones, right? Yes, the ending was trash, but like there was a huge cultural shift in media with Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> They're hour long episodes, very long. You gotta be fucking sweaty to understand everything, right? You gotta appreciate the lore and everything. But I had a friend where this dude would watch Game of Thrones through fucking clips on YouTube, right? He wouldn't watch the entire episode. He'd watch like three to four clips that are highlights of the episodes and then consume it that way. And I'm like, bro, you don't even know what's happening. You're just ruining all the fucking important scenes. You don't even know what it took to get here. You have no context of the build up or what's on the lines. You just see the outcome and you just move on and you're like, yep, it's fine. Because at the end of the day, you know, who am I to judge how you consume media, right? You can just gloss over it while fucking, you know, playing games on the other screen. Or you can be super sweaty, try to dissect and analyze everything, right? Who am I to say that? But I feel like... If you truly want to get the most out of something, you need that level of engagement to really dissect and truly appreciate everything. Deep, dive deep. But if you're fine with just having a surface level understanding as a form of cheap entertainment, do you, I guess. Or they get all this information from TikTok or whatever with that exact same thing I just said, and it's pretty upsetting. Especially when there's just so much time and dedication put into these stories for people not even to read the chapter, even... Uh, actually on pirate sites they just they read summaries of the chapters like bro why are you even reading the series if you can't even do the effort of actually reading the said chapter remember that video we farmed with chibi about the guy that has three times <laughs> anime runtime to watch hunter x hunter to get rid of all the fucking quote-unquote boring bits to get to the important shit some people just treat this as a chore that need to get over straight up <laughs> They treat this shit like a fucking dailies for a gotcha mobile game where they log in, just do this shit and get off. Because, I don't know. Like, I, again, if, if you truly want to get the most out of something, I, I believe that you need to dive deep and really appreciate everything. But some people don't care about that. They just want just a bit of, you know, what the show's all about. So, it is that. That's it. What are you going to do, right? <laughs> what are you going to do? Gatekeep how to fucking consume media? Let, them, let the monkeys just be monkeys. I've seen people like this, but uh, to say one last cliff note to all of this though I mean you can even see literally the actual chainsaw man community and a bunch of other discords like this isn't the only discord I saw a bunch of discord pings yesterday pretty much saying this exact same thing that you know They were trying to get rid of this leaker They didn't want him to leak anything when it comes to Kagura Bachi or other stories. I'm just like yo <laughs> Our friends over at the Kagura, uh, Kagura, uh, Kagubarachi have we been saying this wrong the entire time? Kagubarachi or Kagurabachi? I think he misspelled it or maybe this is intentional to me. Fandom are having a minor rat, sorry, leaker infestation. And given that we thankfully don't have to deal with such problems anymore, thanks to being a pure digital release series, we thought it appropriate to land a hand. Especially because of not insignificant overlap between our two fandoms. So, digital releases. So, if you have physical copies, there is potential to be leaked because the Japanese bookstores and people with connections to that will get that, right? But if there's no physical copies, then there's honestly no leaks at all. There's no security breach with digital releases. How can you help? Easy. Visit this link. Viz.com. Legal tips. Type in your email. Dox yourself. Okay, user this is a known leaker of a series just as JJK and most recently Kagurabachi. Uh, please look into the legal, illegal activity. Smile knowing that you aren't a pathetic waste of space who needs to chase internet clout to have any sense of self-worth. And this is kind of the sad thing. Where like these leakers, people on Reddit, Twitter, you can't really monetize your content. Yes, you can make money on twitter by having a shitload of impressions but like it's fucking nothing dude you're literally 
going out of your way to chase like imaginary internet points from other fat disgusting weebs just just watching this you're like why do you care like you're not even getting money off of it listen if you were getting money off of it i say get your bag this is like a side hustle of business you're doing yeah sure it sucks that other people are gonna get spoiled but at the very least you have some actual incentive to hustle they don't get any money they're, they're literally just getting random twitter on votes reddit on votes to feel special about their lives come on man it, like I said, it's impressive, it's inspirational just to see an entire manga community and actually collectively around the internet come together to stop something like this. And like I said, when you have someone like even Mia kind of a little bit scared about this and not wanting to talk about it, I think that says enough about the situation. As I've already talked about, one of the biggest accounts on Twitter. And the fact that he's even saying this, I think, says enough. Okay. He doesn't want to turn everybody against him. But I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I appreciate all of you guys. I will be talking Aww. about ReZero in an upcoming video. Oh, the ReZero content's coming back, baby. Season 3, October. Oh, we gonna be farming. Video. I know many of your people have been asking, like, where is the discussion on the second trailer of Season 3? Mm. You know, all the information that came out. There's no subtitles for that trailer yet, right? Don't worry. I'll be making a video on that. Just been a little bit busy, but uh, look forward to that one as well. Will do. Thank you, Chibi, for the updates. It's funny about how the manga Lee community. Here's the link to the video. Please go check his channel. Let's up to his channel if you haven't. But yeah, I thought the whole sentiment towards Lee, because I haven't been part of the manga community in a long time, ever since I dropped One Piece a while back due to just life happening. And that the public sentiment was pretty positive towards leaks, even though, you know, you could get potentially spoiled. But that was mostly on Reddit, right? On Twitter, you're just scrolling and imagine you get spoiled of a significant character death over a really cool new power form, right? It's like, what the fuck? I didn't ask for this shit, but hey, it is what it is. I'll see you next time.